stained glass oh shop. And what's yeah. interesting is we don't have a single window in it. Uh, oh, yeah, that is. When, we, when my dad first built the store, this is where we used to keep all our molding and wood, semen in that wow. back room. So wow. uh, come in, I'll show you what we're doing. So far, oh my gosh. there's oh, four of these that are going to be on the tops. Okay. Oh. Okay, and what they're going to do is these four oh. are the four that are on the bottom. And this oh. is a... a, a Oh my, I'm getting chills. I am too. So I am too. These are these are actually copies of a Spanish colonial furniture. My dad had has these two lions carved in his front door. Oh. So I brought those and put those in. <coughs> and then whatever color, see the blue on the bottom there? That'll match this blue. Oh. And each one will have their color. The common color. Right, the common colors. Oh. Um, I love this one right yeah. there, the rainbow. It's all, everyone is a little bit amber. Oh, oh my gosh. And what is, does this circle represent something in each of them? Well, you know, it, this is just the way it was. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to let everybody's imagination take whatever it happens to yeah. One of my aunts Period. gave me a piece that she had that had these in them. Oh. So they're antiques and I put those in. Nice. Uh, just to use them. Oh, yeah. Uh, and they're going to uh, have oh, I'm so oh, glad you pointed that out. Oh, oh, like, their mouth, they're so beautiful. You should be so proud. Uh, this is this is the one that Merlin's doing. Oh, my gosh. I did this artwork and then we I brought it in and they said, uh, I think his arms were too short. Oh. <laughs> so I cut him off and extended him oh, and I retraced see. it and uh -huh. said, Okay, this is what it is. You guys take it and do whatever you want. So they're having somebody else, uh, one of Merlin's daughter's friends is an artist. So she's going to actually paint the face on it, which is interesting. This is the dub. I just have to finish, finish oh this, gosh. put the eye in it. I'm going to put a piece of black onyx on it and an orange beak. This goes do you in need this the window. onyx? The do you have it? Because I have Look that. I'm a jeweler. Look at it. Do you have a yeah. piece? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you can see what size you it is. You want me to? I'll get. You give me your mailing address, and I'll send you a piece. Yeah. And then, uh, so this goes in this window. That that this is the okay. window that we're bringing back to the church. That, that was the original. That was the original window. Right. The round one over there. That's the one that goes over the altar. Okay. And one of our local woodworkers is actually volunteering to build it. So we are so lucky yeah. to, to get that done what, that way. Yeah, what a way to go, what a community. And then, okay, so this is the copper that you put on top of the lead or whatever, is that your application? Right, this is copper patina. Okay. Right, so after you solder it, see this is soldered right now. Soldered, okay. so we have to clean it and polish it, and then we put the copper patina on it. Because that really pops out. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. How, how is that applied? Is that 